God, Heather, what's your damage? I just teach people real life. Real life sucks losers dry. You want to fuck with the eagles, you have to learn to fly. So you teach people how to spread their wings and fly? Yes. You're beautiful. You know, we should... Shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Not you, Heather. Jesus, don't be such a pillowcase. Sorry, Heather. Why was that on her And on it goes. Dear Diary, So, since my last video, I decided to start posting these online. I think it might be some sort of outlet, like a stress relief thing, and I could really use less static in my life. Well, here we are, one month into school and I'm already dead inside. Not from school. I can handle school. I've got school down. But the people at school, even the teachers couldn't care less about us. Sometimes it feels like I'm lost on earth, as though no one will ever get me and I'll never get them. There are so many different types of people in this world and I just feel like I could never fit into any of them. But. Guess what? Other than my major existential questioning, my life is utterly perfect. What can I say? I'm off to a Remington party later tonight. So what could be better? I may not like my friends much, but actually, have I told you about my friends? Like, really told you about my friends? The Heathers? The royalty of Westerberg, gods among men, these infamous beings rule the school with an iron manicure. <laughs> People bow down to their shiny jeeps and aerobicized asses like solid Teflon. They're never bothered, never harassed. Some would kill to be friends with them, to be in the same position that I am. But in all honesty, it kind of feels like they're just people I work with and our job is being popular and shit. Okay. That's Heather Duke. I don't actually know too much about her. Like, we've been friends for maybe a month and she likes to read and she's pretty little and she's quiet. But, you know, actually, now that I think about it, she's kind of sad. Like, actually. But, you know, hey, at least she has breast implants. <laughs> and then... Heather McNamara. Her dad is loaded. He sells engagement rings. She's not exactly the brightest bulb in the tanning bed, if you catch my drift. Last week, she asked me if they have Thanksgiving in Africa. And then there's Heather Chandler, the almighty. She is a mythic bitch. Sometimes I honestly wonder if she's some sort of Greek mythical monster. Like, if a nerd, nerd, even looks at her, she's going to sprout daggers from her hands and devour them whole. She's the Grand Supreme of Westerberg. She's the Demon Queen of high school. I mean, can't she just be a friend? Why does she have to be such a mega bitch? Still. She's worshipped at Westerberg. Everyone either wants to friend her, fuck her, or kill her. You know, Martha Dunstock was a true friend, and I sold her out for a bunch of swatch dogs and Diet Coke heads. Killing Heather would be like offing the Wicked Witch of the West. Wait, East? No, West. Ugh, I sound like a fucking psycho. I mean... I'd never actually kill her, but it just, she's awful, you know? Oh, and Martha. Martha Dunstock, the one and only. She has been my best friend since, well, we're in like diapers. She's got a huge heart. But around Westerberg, that just isn't enough. I've treated her like shit since joining the Heathers. God, if you ever see this, Martha, I'm sorry. You don't deserve this, and I know that. And, of course, I can't talk about Martha without also bringing up Ram Sweeney. Ram Sweeney! 
third year linebacker, second year senior, and 19th year of being a huge dick. He's a fucking Neanderthal. He probably can't even tie his own shoes without the help of his little Kurt. And this would be Kurt. Kurt Kelly, quarterback. He's the smartest guy on the football team, which is kind of like being the tallest dwarf. Even together, all Kurt and Ram can ever possibly offer the world are date rapes and AIDS jokes. No sane girl in their right mind would get near them. But hey, at least they have their left hands. And then finally, we have JD. JD is something else. She gets it, you know? I read a book when I was a kid and it said that sometimes you meet people who make you smile on the inside. And when it comes to JD, that's the only way I can describe how I feel. Like my heart and my body just smiles. God. <laughs> I mean like, in a very platonic friendship kin family gal pal, um, you know, kind of way. <laughs> anyway, Jesus Christ. We are a month into the school year and I'm already stuck in my own head. I say we should all just grow up, be adults and die. I know I shouldn't feel this way or talk this way about my friends. I just... Hello? Veronica! Finally. So, uh, hi Heather, we were just talking about you. We? Oh, mm, sorry, I just, uh, I meant like... You know what, forget it. Just hurry the F up or else we'll all be late for the Remington party. I've put a lot on the line to get you in, and if you fuck me over because you're too busy playing patty cake with Martha Dump Truck, it'll be keggers with kids all year. Don't worry, I'll be there. And... You know, it's Dunstock. What? Um, Martha. Her last name's Dunstock, not Dump Truck. Jesus Christ, Veronica. Put up the whole holier-than-thou heavenly angel shtick and haul your ass to the car. We're waiting. Need I say more? Okay. I've got a motor unless I want to release Heather's almighty wrath. Calvary. Oh, oh, it's on. Oh, we're going. Great. Hello, world. No. No, not that. No, that's. Whew. We on for movie night? And I look around at these kids that I've known my whole life and I ask myself, what happened?